In this video, we'll dive into binary trees and binary search trees from their structure to code implementation. We will also explore self-balancing binary search trees like AVL or red-black trees. A tree is a non-linear data structure compared to linked lists that consist of nodes connected by edges. However, in coding challenges and interviews, you are more likely to encounter problems involving binary trees rather than general trees because of their simplicity. In a binary tree, each node contains a value and pointers to two children, left and right, which refer to their left and right child nodes. For example here, 6 is the child node of 4, and 4 is the parent node of 6. And also 21 and 6 nodes are siblings, because they share the same parent, which is 4. The nodes that don't have any children, like 1, 5, 2, and also 21 and 6, are called leaf nodes, and the top node which doesn't have any parent is called the root node, which is 7 in this case. Another property of a tree is a tree height, which is the length of the longest path from the root to the leaf. A more useful type of tree is the binary search tree, which is the same binary tree but in a sorted order. Here every node's subtree contains values less than the node's value, and the right subtree contains values greater than the node's value. So this basically means that the tree is sorted from left to right. And this rule applies to every node, including the root and their respective subtrees. Let's see the common operations and their big O notations on binary search trees. The time complexity for a search operation is log n for balanced trees. Since we know that the tree is in a sorted order, we check if the target is less than our node value, we go to the left, and if it's greater than our value, we go to the right until we arrive at our target value. But it can be O of n for unbalanced trees in the worst case. The tree is called balance when the height of the left and right subtrees of any node differ by no more than one. And an unbalanced tree is where the left and right parts of the tree are not always equal, and it can even become a linked list where searching for an item is O of n, because we have to traverse to each item to find our target value. Insertion is similar to searching, we perform a basic binary search, if the value to be inserted is less than the current node's value, we go left, if it's greater, we go right, and if we arrived at our destination, we just insert the value. The time complexity is also similar to searching, it's O of log n for balanced trees, but it can become O of n if the tree is unbalanced. The algorithm for deletion is a bit more complex because you have to handle lots of edge cases if you are removing from the middle, but the time complexity is again O of log n for balanced trees and it can be O of n in the worst case. In production, we usually use balanced binary search trees like AVL trees or red-black trees. These are two common types of self-balancing binary trees. For example, an AVL tree maintains a balance factor for each node, which is the difference between the heights of its left and right subtrees. If the balance factor exceeds a threshold, it performs rotation to restore the balance. So AVL tree ensures that the tree's height remains logarithmic, so that we can perform efficient searching, insertion and deletion operations. A red-black tree is another type of self-balancing binary search tree. It ensures that the tree is approximately balanced by using color properties, red or black, assigned to each node. The red-black tree satisfies several properties, including ensuring the longest path from the root to any leaf is no more than twice the length of the shortest path. Both of them keep the tree balanced at all times, preventing a tree from becoming a linear linked list. But you don't need to know them in depth for interviews, usually knowing just a binary search tree is enough. And I recommend you check out the visualgo.net, which has a lot of cool animations that can help you understand the operations better. And if you're interested to learn about tree traversals and graphs, subscribe for upcoming videos.